Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm very excited because I got my first gifted slash PR makeup goodie bag. Um, and I'm going to unbox it for you. So the brand is W7. It is in this Tupperware container because unfortunately when it came, one of the foundations was broken and it covered everything. If you're after a full coverage foundation, this brand has it. Um, I spent an hour cleaning everything off, so you might see some of the foundation streaks on some of the items. I did my best to clean it off. Some of the packaging is a matte packaging, so it's kind of hard to get rid of all the foundation. But I'm so grateful for everything that I received. I, I couldn't believe how many items they actually sent me. So if you enjoy these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And let's get straight into the video. <music> All right, guys, so like I said, um, everything did come covered in foundation. I have a ton of items in here. Some of the items came out of their packaging just because they were in a box or a plastic and it was just easier to take the item out of the packaging. So I don't have some of the items in the original packaging, but that's okay. We don't really mind about packaging. Um, I also did get a little note. Um, it is kind of covered in foundation, but I wiped it off. It says, hi, Ruslan, we hope you love your W7 goodies. Sorry we lost tracking for our glow sprays. Have an incredible day. We look forward to seeing your post and your reactions. So I actually, <laughs> the reason I got this sent to me was, it was a little cheeky on my part. I actually um, commented on one of the Instagram posts. It was a glow setting spray and it had like the glitter particles. So you spray it and you have like a nice glow effect. Um, I actually commented saying, send it to me, I'll review it. Just as a cheeky little, you know, um, comment and they actually DM me an hour later and they said we'd love to send you this item for you to review so it did arrive yesterday also I want to mention they are a vegan cruelty free brand they are sold at Chemist Warehouse here in Australia but I think they are a UK brand so they're sold here at the Chemist Warehouse stores but they also sold in the UK um, and they do a lot of dupes of other high-end makeup brands. So they've got Huda Beauty, Too Faced Eyeshadows. They dupe a lot of those types of brands. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills is one of them as well. And they make it very, very affordable, which I love because, you know, sometimes the Huda Beauty palettes are like $85 Australian, while these palettes are less than $8 or $9 each. So I think that's all the disclaimers I need to say, or I want to say. Not that I need to say, but I feel like I'm giving you all the information there is. Let's get in all the items. Okay, so the first item we have is this Glow Glam Makeup Brush, brush Set. This is what it looks like. I'm actually planning to do a full face of W7 items. I actually have a bag over here. So all these items I'm going to combine with the items I have over there. Um, because some of the items that I received I don't actually have. So I'm actually very grateful for that. There are five brushes. They did come um, wrapped in tissue paper. But I unwrapped them just to make sure there was no foundation on them. So we got two really nice fluffy brushes. And these feel the same quality of Morphe, like the handles are nice and like they've got a good weight to them. Very, very soft. I'm going to use this for the, my um, blush when I do my full face. I'm not going to tell you prices of everything. It's a very, very affordable brand. I will tell you the prices of everything that I use in my um, full face of W7 products in my next video. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you want to keep watching. That is a really nice fluffy full face brush. I will probably bronze or set my face with this brush because it's nice and fluffy. And then we do get three eyeshadow brushes, which I like as well. These are the style brushes that I actually like to use on my eyes, nice and fluffy. And then we got like a, a flat but tapered brush type thing. So I like those. I'm going to try those out. And I will probably use some other brushes because five brushes are not going to do this full face here that you can see in front of you. So very grateful for that. And we actually can't get that in my um, chemist warehouse. When I went to purchase a full face, I went to three different stores to get all the items I needed. Because it is quite a popular brand. Everything's sold out. So just note, you might have to shop around to get everything you need if you're doing a full face of W7. Or you want to try out different things. Some stores have them, some stores don't. So just shop around. Right, the next item we have is this beautiful shimmer brick. Brick. I was going to say shimmer brick and then it says shimmer brick at the bottom. This is a bronzer. And it is a shimmer bronzer. I actually would probably just use this as an eyeshadow topper. Or a highlighter because there are so many different shades. I did actually swatch this on my finger just because I couldn't help myself when I first opened it. So, so pretty. So you can see the distinct two shades there, the white and then like the bronzy one. Very, very pretty. I'm just going to show you what they look like. Now you could obviously swirl your brush and combine all those shades and make it a bronzer. 
I'm not a huge fan of shimmer bronzers. So what I probably will do is just use these as eyeshadow toppers. This white shade will be perfect as an inner corner highlighter or brow highlighter, just because it's a perfect size for a small brush to do your brow highlighter and inner corner highlighter. That formula feels very, very creamy, very buttery. And like I said, these are very, very affordable. None of these products I think are over $5 from um, W7. And uh, eyeshadow palettes, I've got a 40 pan eyeshadow palette for well, the original price was $15.99, but it was 40% off, so I think I got it for like $9. 40 pan eyeshadow palette, very affordable, this brand. So, very happy about that. Then we did get some um, little sponges, which I'm grateful for because they were sold out at my chemist warehouse. We have this big one here. You can see some foundation did get on it. Look at the little stamp, W7, very nice. Love the pink color. Then I did get these small ones as well. I'm keeping them in the plastic because... As you can see, foundation got all over it, but the plastic kept it sealed and um, nice and clean. Sorry guys, I keep looking at everything in front of me, not, not the camera, so I apologize about that. I'm just excited because this is my first like PR gifted little goodie bag I've ever received. So the next item we have is this um, Sweet Dreams with Vitamin E, Aloe Vera and Grapeseed Oil. It is a strawberry overnight lip mask. This is what it looks like. I thought this was a lip scrub at first, but it's a lip mask and... Guys, I did use this last night because I just wanted to try it. It is so nice. It smells so, so nice. Mixed with um, cotton candy and strawberries or watermelon, it just, oh, it smells so nice. I'm not gonna put any on my lips because I will um, be doing a video after this, but wow, this is amazing and I did use it last night. Love that. The next items we have, we've got, okay, we've got a couple of blushes. Well, we've got four in total. The packaging, I think, of these are dupes for um, NARS. It's kind of giving me NARS vibes. I'll put a photo of the ones that I'm talking about. So we got four of these. Unfortunately, two of these didn't make it. Um, so I'll show you what they look like shade-wise, but I'm not gonna tip it up and get it all over my table. Let me move that away, because I can't remember which ones are um, broken. So this one here is Teach Me. Oh, quickly wanted to mention, this packaging is like um, matte, so it's very hard to clean completely the foundation. So that's why they look like that. Oh, okay, so this is one of the broken shades, and this is the shade, what was it? Teach Me, I think. It's a shimmer blush. It is quite deep for me, colour-wise, so I probably wouldn't use that anyway, um, just because it's very, very pigmented. But I really wanted to try out the formula. Maybe I'll still be able to try it. I'm going to keep that sealed as best I can. And then guys, the next shade we have is Strip Tease. I'm not gonna swatch everything just because I wanna save it for full face video. Okay, so this, this is a matte peach blush, which is stunning. I love that color. And I actually like that these were quite big so you can get a blush brush in it completely and you know, not have to like, some of the blush um, pans are very, very small, especially when they're right next to bronzers. So you can't get your full brush in to get like an even coat. Um, so sometimes one side is more pigmented than the other, but I like that these are a nice size. And that was again in the shade Strip Tease. Then guys, we have the shade, did they send me two of the same one, Strip Tease? Yeah, they did. Okay, so I've got two of the same one. And yeah, okay, I'm okay with that. I didn't realize they were two of the same. I thought one was a little bit more deeper, but that is a nice peached one. They probably saw that I I like peach blushes more on my Instagram. Oh, and this one here, actually, they sent me two of each. So the two that broke are actually the shade um, Teach Me. Is that Teach Me? Yeah, Teach Me. And then the two that survived are the same color in the shade um, Striptease. But that's okay. I'm excited to try those. Didn't realize they were both the same shades. Like I said, everything was covered in foundation, so I was wiping everything off as quickly as I could before it kind of dried. Then, guys, we do have a mascara. Now, I'm not a huge fan of mascara, but I will try these out. I will just use this on my bottom lash line just because I've just never had success with mascara. Let me actually try it on my lashes now and just show you what it looks like. One side done, one side not. See, I've already got it on there because I'm not, I'm not used to mascara. Okay, well, I did my best, it's a mess. I'll try and zoom in so you can see exactly what I did. Oh, wrong way. Can you see, so I got it all up here on the eyelid and then I think the bottom is okay, but it's just a lot of work. And if I had eyeshadow and shimmer, I would just feel 
very let down because every time I blink, it would just transfer and then it would smudge and then I'd have to wait until it dried and reapply all the eyeshadow that I've just worked hard on. Okay, let me zoom back out and we can continue. We'll just ignore this eye. I'm gonna ignore it for the rest of the video. But like I said, I'm grateful for everything. They do have some really nice, wispy and beautiful um, false lashes, but my chemist warehouse was sold out and I don't think all the other ones that I went to the stores had them in stock. So I won't be able to try the um, lashes in the next video, but they do have some really nice lashes. I'll put a photo up on screen as I talk about them. They're very pretty lashes. The next items we have, okay, so we had this dupe for um, a Too Faced eyeshadow palette. This is the new friction palette but it is i think the um dupe for the Too faced nude born this way palette or something it is the same type of layout and this is what the palette looks like very very pretty now i actually did have the Too faced palette and i really didn't like the matte um, formula in that palette or the shimmers but the shimmers in this palette look really nice i like foiled shimmers from w7 eyeshadow palette i do have an anastasia beverly hills um knockoff palette which I don't, I don't have in front of me, but the shimmers are a different formula and they just don't, they don't swatch nice or apply nice, but these look very foiled. I have to, I have to swatch one for you. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I want to show you the quality of these eyeshadows from this brand. I mean, this palette, I think retails for like $8 at um, Chemist Warehouse. Very, very pretty gold shimmer. I will just say that the um, pan sizes are quite hard to get my full finger in. They are like the smaller ones are quite small, um, but that's right. We'll work with that. I mean, that is, look at the quality of that shimmer. That was one swatch. Look how pretty that is. I remember the Too Faced shimmers were not that good. They just didn't swatch. They didn't apply in my eyes. They would crease. I would have a ton of fallout. But these, I mean, that is stunning. $8, I think, from this palette. I'll put a price of this actual palette um, so you know how much it is. But I'm pretty sure it's like 8 or $9. So that just shows you how much of a different price point they are. And the quality is amazing. And then, guys, the next item I actually didn't get in my full face of uh, makeup, so I'm very happy that I got this. This is the It's Glow Prime Primer, Radiant Primer. This is what it looks like. I actually really like the packaging. Like, the palette, this palette is very, very light compared to the Too Faced palette. Very, very light. But the packaging is still very nice, especially on these components. I like the little pump you get, and does it... Like the lid doesn't just come off easily. Sometimes a lot of my primers or foundations, the lid just pops off in my drawers. But these actually are quite tight, so that's good. And this has a six months expiry date on it. I will definitely be trying this out in my full face. Then guys, we got a whole lot of foundations. So I actually got five, but like I said, one did break. But I got four other foundations. Now, some of these, like this one here, is the shade... Amber Glow. I think it's the shade Amber Glow. That's that's a bit too deep for me. The lightest one might be a bit too light, but I can mix this one with this one and get my perfect shade. And then we've got these two middle ones here as well, which will probably work for me. This has a 12 months expiry date on it. It is vegan cruelty free. Um, so I'm very excited about that. I actually have another foundation from W7. They've got quite a few different um, like brands in W7, like almost sister brands of W7, which I'll talk about in a later video, you'll see the different packaging and stuff like that. So I'm very excited about those foundations. And then guys, the next item we have, I think is a dupe for um, benefit like brow products. But this is the bronzer and cheek and highlighter palette. It's giving me very benefit vibes packaging wise. Very pretty. I did open it just to make sure there was no foundation on it. It did come with a plastic seal, but I've taken that off. This is what it looks like. So you've got a bronzer, a blush, and then you got well, this is, I think, um, a, a shimmer bronzer, which I probably won't use. I'm not a huge fan of shimmer bronzers, but this highlighter shade is giving me very cookie vibes, which is the iconic cookie shade from um, Benefit. I'm going to swatch it for you on the back of my hand, even though I said I wasn't swatching much. It's so creamy and so buttery. I mean, that is so pretty. And that is giving me very cookie vibes from that um, Benefit iconic shade, highlighter shade. Look at that, very pretty. And yeah, I'm excited about this and I love that the pan size is a huge so I can get this big fluffy brush into the bronzer. Like that, that's something I like when I use a face palette. I don't wanna to have to worry about getting the um, brush evenly coated with the product. So very happy about that. Then guys, we have a whole lot of brow products. So let me show you what they are. Firstly, we got um, a little brow kit. 
Now it did come in a box, I'll put a photo of that up on screen, but it was carbon foundation. So I just opened it and took these items out. I think one of these is meant to be um, like a brow freeze gel, very um, Anastasia Beverly Hills vibe. I did actually buy that um, when that first came out and I did not like it. This is what it looks like. It is giving me very Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills vibes, dupe wise, packaging wise. And okay, so you get a little seal on the top. Doesn't have a scent at all, which is good. Oh, that's sticky. Yeah, that's sticky. I've actually been using the Anastasia B. Beverly Hills like little glue or brow freeze, but in the little component rather than one of these. And I've actually been liking that a lot. Then we also did get these, um, and I don't know what they are. Oh, okay, I think these are pan, um, brushes, so brow brushes. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so got a little brush, little angled brow brush here and then we got a little spoolie so that's very nice I'll use them oh and then we got oh what's this oh this is a face razor okay I can shave my face like a professional so I got one of these as well okay or maybe it's a brow shaper razor I don't know but I'm gonna try that and if it doesn't work on my brows I'm just gonna save this when I need to cut boxes open when I do a little haul or something like that so that can be used for multiple purposes. And then we've got four items left. So I actually got three of these um, brow, brow sums, like um, brow tints or something like that. I got two in the shade dark brown. Then I got one in the shade medium brown. And this is what it looks like. So I think this is one of those ones where you um, just, oh, okay, I wasn't, that smelled like chemicals, but that's okay. I was not expecting that doe foot applicator. I wish I had actually kept the box, but I took these out of the box because um, it was covered in foundation. It was like that slippery box. So I just, every time I wiped it off, it just, it would just transfer over everything. Um, I did also get these little things in that. So I might actually have to look online to see how to use this properly. I actually do have one of their um, brow pencils and I've been using that in the last couple of looks that I did. And I've been really, really enjoying that. And I think that retailed for $2.99, which is very affordable. I know my Maybelline brow pencil is the same um, component and same look. That retails for about $15, $17. While this pencil that is working for me from W7 is only $2.99. So I will probably repurchase that pencil and I will definitely try these out as well to see if they work. The last item I got is this um, Ab absolute serum this is um, a serum for lashes and brows so it's a clear serum and I think this is meant to um, promote hair growth so I will definitely be doing that well I don't really need it on my brows because my hairs are very very long and I, you know I pluck them for days and I, I cut them and trim them and all that type of stuff but my lashes are always good for an extension this is very interesting I don't let me pull it out I just saw it, the component inside Look at that. What's that all about? Like, what's that end piece doing? What are you doing? What are you, what's your job? That smells like honey. Why does, why does that smell? No, it smells like chemicals. I, I, I imagine things, it smells like chemicals, but that's okay. I will try that out. I might actually watch one of their reels to see exactly what like, I don't know if I'm meant to run that yellow thing along my lashes or what that's there for, but I will try that out. It does have a six months expiry date and again, a vegan cruelty free. And guys, that was everything that I received in my little package. I'm so, I, I'm blown away by how generous they were. They did not have to send me, like, they didn't have to send me five foundations, but they sent me five foundations. They sent me a couple of their blushes. This little brick, this is getting me excited, like, as a highlighter or an eyeshadow topper like those are stunning those shades very very pretty and you can see how they swatch on the back of my hand we have this palette which i'm excited to try i actually have i think five palettes to play with so i don't actually know what look i'm going to do i've got some colorful palettes and then i've got a couple of neutral palettes so i might do a colorful look and then a, a neutral look using a mixture of those palettes the brushes i love the feel of these brushes they feel so nice and just so soft like i love a soft face brush and soft brushes don't remove my makeup when i apply the powder products on it some of the dense ones can um, take that foundation away but these soft ones won't do that i can just already tell with those then guys we have the primer which i'm very excited for because i couldn't find a primer to use um, for my full face so i thought i'd just have to use my nyx one but now i actually have one to try 
very happy about that the little beauty blenders like these small ones are so cute and then we've got this pink one pink is one of my favorite colors this sleeping mask is amazing smells amazing like i just like this is the type of smell that i love in candles and stuff oh love that and the fact that it's going to be under my nose on my lips i can just smell it all the time and then guys we know how we feel about the mascara it didn't really work for me but that's just because i'm not really good at applying mascara that's probably my first time i've tried mascara in almost two years so i'm not very good at applying it and you can see why and then lastly we have all the brow products and lash serum so we've got the little freeze brow product which i'm excited to try because I have been getting into that. We got the little spoolie and brow pencil, and then we got these little spoolies as well. And then these items, like I said, I'm going to have to look into these because I don't know how to apply them with a doe foot applicator. I don't know if I just apply it with the doe foot applicator and then brush it through. That's what these might be. I just don't know because I don't have the packaging anymore. And lastly, this serum with the little yellow penis thing coming out of it. I'm excited and interested to try it. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. It still smells like Kevin Good, by the way. And that is everything I got in my first ever PR slash gifted item from a company. I'm so excited to try all of these. I'm going to sit down and play with a full face of makeup from this brand now. But that is everything I got. And I'm, I'm blown away by their generosity. I didn't think leaving a cheeky comment on their Instagram page would lead me to getting all these items and then having the brand actually follow me on Instagram and um, interacting with me. It's just very, very nice. And I'm so grateful for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also let me know if you guys have tried anything. Leave a comment down below if you've tried this brand, tried any of the items that I've talked about. And with that, guys, stay safe. I'll see you later. Oh my love. Bye.